Greetings Lobos and Lobo families. This is Mr. Almavera, principal of L.C. Allen High School, along with Johnny Poncho, student advisor. And we're here to share with you a little bit of information as we come back to school in hybrid learning and go over some protocols and some policies and some expectations while you're on our campus. So let's get to it. Parents, you must check for COVID-19 symptoms every day before coming to school. Stay home if your child or someone in your house has COVID symptoms or has had close contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. Call the school immediately and let us know. Parents, when you arrive to drop off your student, please make sure to drive to the closest entrance and drop your student off by the first class of the day. Students, be sure to go directly to your classroom. If your student rides the bus, they will be dropped off in front and walk to their classroom. Students, if you drive yourself to campus, please make sure to put on your mask on before leaving your car like shown here by Johnny. Everyone at school will be required to wear face coverings that fit properly or they will be sent home. We will have extras at school. If there's a specific condition that exempts your child from wearing a mask, please talk to me. Also students, if you are walking to school, make sure that you put on your mask before coming onto campus as shown by Johnny here. Parents, as you can see on this map, it shows you where you can drop off your student. Also, please make sure parents that when you are on our campus, that you have your mask on and you stay inside your car. Frequent hand hygiene is one of the most important preventative practices to help slow the spread of COVID-19 and will be expected at school. We will have hand washing stations and sanitizing stations throughout the campus for our student use. To practice social or physical distancing, stay at least six feet or about two arms length away from other people in both indoor and outdoor settings. It is important to maintain that distance so that we can all stay safe while we're outside of our classroom. You will receive more information about any COVID-19 testing for staff or students that might occur in the future. In the classroom, we will have extra space just to make sure that we are socially distant. Also, please make sure that you bring extra layers because when possible, we will have windows and doors open to allow for airflow. If any student develops COVID-19 symptoms during the school day, they will be taken to the isolation area. Parents will be expected to pick up their student immediately. Emergency contacts may also be notified if we can't reach you. As you can see by this map, the isolation area is next to the theater. Please make sure that you drive there as your student will be there waiting for you. Cleaning will also include spraying a quick dry EPA approved disinfectant that's effective against the COVID-19 virus. It will also be applied with electrostatic sprayers. Also, frequently touched surfaces will be cleaned and disinfected daily and throughout the day as practical will include also our school desks. Restrooms will be available for our students. A plan to limit student group mixing on campus has been developed so that we may maintain social distancing. Also free meals for all students will be available on a grab and go basis with minimal contact. Breakfast and lunch. Students will eat in a socially distanced manner. Students will attend three classes each day. When walking between classes, they must make sure to maintain social distancing. For physical education class, we will not be using the locker room, so make sure to dress comfortably so you can participate in all PE activities. Remember to wear appropriate shoes. Students will not be using lockers this spring, so plan ahead and bring only what you need every day that you're on campus. This would include your Chromebook. Lobos, we're excited to have you back. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. And we look forward to your arrival on the 26th.